Hi, this is your host Sapni Bhartiya and we are here once again at the end of 2020 and the, almost there with 2021. And today we have with us Abner Germano, uh, VP of Product Marketing at Lacework. Abner, it's great to have you back on the show. Before we talk about the predictions for 2021, I want you to just give us a recap. What is Lacework all about? Lacework was founded to understand security in the cloud. The company basically does four things. So we do configuration uh, management, which is uh, how do I avoid configuration uh, problems like S3 buckets? Uh, cloud activity monitoring, threat discovery in workloads and uh, containers, and uh, finally vulnerability discovery in uh, in those uh, workloads and containers as well. And it's all designed as SaaS uh, for companies that are building uh, secure businesses on AWS, GCP, and Azure. Awesome. Now, go grab your crystal ball and tell me what predictions do you have for the next year? My first prediction is that uh, a lot more companies continue to get really good at cloud. What do I mean by that? Well, a number of companies have gone to, to, to AWS and others, uh, and they, but they mostly use those services as expensive data centers. And what we've seen over the last few years, especially with containerization, uh, a little bit with serverless, uh, but and, and quite a bit with uh, auto scaling and, and hosts and just the huge explosion in services, has meant that uh, if you use cloud services, uh, in order to get the most out of it, you really have to think about and build very differently than what you did in the data center. And I think that one of the big indications that, that that's moving from sort of smaller scale startups and, and very nimble uh, disruptive companies to mainstream is now this movement toward uh, taking containers and cloud services on-prem, which means uh, all of those companies that, that want to be on-prem, their CFOs won't let them move their data centers uh, or get rid of their data centers. Uh, that, that, that's all happening because they're all getting good at cloud. They're all getting good at containerization and they want more of that. So my second prediction, which follows on that, is that in the performance monitoring world, in the uh, in the in the monitoring world, we've been making a shift over the last five years from monitoring to observability. And what that's all about is in a in a fairly static world, so the, that old data center world, we can monitor for things that we know are bad. In a very dynamic, very distributed world, we don't actually know what's going to be bad. And so in order to understand what's happening in our environment, uh, we've moved towards observability, which means I can see everything. And in this, from a security perspective, if you can't see it, then you can't secure it. So the, the movement from monitoring to observability is also now happening in security, and it really changes the way that, that people go about uh, thinking about how are they adopting new services? How are they using cloud more effectively? And making sure that they're supporting innovation as opposed to holding everybody back. My third prediction is that the talent crunch around uh, security and cloud expertise continues to, to be intense. We now see a, a much harder focus from managers on using talent more effectively. And so what that means from a technology standpoint is that all of the ancillary services that you see around a, an application in the cloud uh, are moving to SaaS in order to focus the team on the business problem uh, and optimize their costs because they continue to have to innovate very, very quickly. So I think there's a, a big focus on how do you optimize the talent in your organization in order to continue to innovate? What is going to be the focus of the company in 2021? The focus for Lacework in, in 2021 from a, uh, from a corporate standpoint is really focused on, on, on scaling and, and growing our business uh, because the demand for security in the cloud is just skyrocketing and specifically security that's built for cloud builders. 
Uh, we have a, a lot of different uh, companies that are trying to serve cloud builders, uh, but very few who are both offering a platform as well as a, uh, a, a tool that's designed specifically for all the changes in the cloud. Awesome. Abner, thank you so much for sharing these predictions and also the focus of the company next year. And I look forward to talk to you again, but not next year, hopefully next year. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Have a happy new year.